behind me is a very ordinary city in a very ordinary country, in a very ordinary part of the Atlantic Ocean, but in extraordinary times. In this series of films, I will go into that city to seek out and explore extraordinary people doing extraordinary things in this extraordinary time that we now call the new normal. Waterford is Ireland's oldest city, founded by the Vikings, harnessed by the Normans, and perfected by the English. It's the southeast's jewel of the Nile, and is a surprising place to live and love. Here I am, getting my mouth stuffed in an alley during a global pandemic. Hardly the place you'd find great sports people, so I'll find them instead. During the global situation across the planet, many golf courses around the world were closed, leaving up to 82% of known golfers with no golf to play. But alleys aren't yet illegal, and either are people. Put the two together, and you've got alley golf. Four! Baz Lonergan and Erica Debonair are two of Ireland's youngest and hottest alley golf talents. Because of ongoing restrictions, I utterly refuse to shake any of my subjects' hands. However, I will offer them the brass end of my stick. I first became aware of alley golf after the first lockdown, and I'd played normal golf for many years and would consider myself a proud traditionalist. But there were a number of aspects about it I grew to dislike. Such as? Well such as the ridiculous distances between T and hole, sometimes 500 yards or more. Have you ever tried pumping wet balls through thick, rough, grueling? I can imagine. On the contrary, I would very much consider alley golf a stopgap, just to keep my eye in until the real game resumes. I think of myself as a professional golfer, but very much an amateur alley golfer. I concur. You are an amateur. And yet I've beaten you on many occasions. Never on camera. We've never played on camera. Excuses, excuses. At this point in the interview, Baz and Erica take a moment to prepare food and liquids for the long day ahead. I always pack a half dozen bananas because the potassium gives me the inner strength I desire. Um, I would always pack five Twixes because I like the taste of them. Steaming hot coffee. I forgot my flask. It's incredibly hot. The rules of alley golf are simple, but unwritten. Drivers are encouraged. Irons are tolerated. All balls are white, and all holes are one. Each player takes turns to find and nominate a hole. Two holes must be played in each calendar hour. 18 holes are permissible on Christian holidays. All holes are par five, unless par three and jokers are wild. I nominate hole! The opponent, hole nominee, has exactly 10 seconds to accept or reject. Many factors must be evaluated during this brief period. Terrain gradient, surface grit, access and egress, wind strength, dog poo. Hole accepted! The opponent curtsies, as is tradition. A confident nod completes the transaction. This entire process is known as the hole finder's gambit, and it is thrilling to watch. Using ritualistic lunges, Baz retreats 10 steps to a starting position of his choice. Erica follows attentively. If Baz were to trip or drop the putter, she'd automatically win the hole without a single shot being fired. The lunge and follow are unique to alley golf. And yet I took to them like a flamingo to water. As Baz attempts his final lunge, Erica makes her move. During the follow, we have one attempt to distract and disrupt our opponent.
Baz's lunge game is strong, and Erica beats a hasty retreat, but with lots learned. The long preamble now at an end. The game is literally a foot. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, are they lovers, Erica and Baz? No, they are not. And how do I know? Because a great documentary filmmaker always does rigorous research. My cameras are always rolling and my microphones are always listening. Plus, I've been looking through their mobile phones. Now, if I were to tell you of another relationship, that of me and my beloved Isabel, and how we met inside one of these magic boxes, and no, that's a story for another time. I decided to interrupt the game as it was going on way too long for my liking. I say, might I have a go of the lunge? I do quite enjoy the lunge bit. Okay, I suppose. I nominate Hole. Hole accepted. I prepared for the lunge using positive mental imaging. Okay, final shot. You two, get your stuff please. Get into the shot, final shot. We're doing, we're doing the final shot. Unfortunately, I'd aggravated an old back injury first encountered during a research trip to okay. Poland. Get your stuff. Well, it's been a wonderful day here in the alleyway watching these two wonderful golfers. So please do join me next time when I will seek out extraordinary people doing extraordinary things in these extraordinary times that we call the new normal. Please remain still during this final shot. That's my bananas. Please remain still. Have you seen it? Have you taken my bananas? I didn't touch your disgusting bananas. Oh, you did. You absolutely took them. They're not there. Try to remain still during the final shot. What's wrong with you, you ridiculous person? My spinal column was shattered, but my professionalism remained intact. Oh.